Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our Build a House Spring Add-on. This add-on is a perfect complement to our original Build a House die and turns it into this cute little spring scene. You can use it with the Build a House on its own or you can use it with the Reveal Wheel add-on too and we're going to be showing you both ways in this video. So let's go ahead and check out the dies that are included in this set. These are all the dies included in this set and there's lots of cute tiny ones. We have a window frame and then a window with shutters. We have a fence and this cute little flower box and a hanging flower planter with some cute flowers, a mailbox with a cover and a cute little envelope and even the flag and a bird bath and a bird. So first up, I'm going to take out that original build a house die and we have a ton of add-ons for this, a Christmas one, a gingerbread one, a Halloween one. Now we have our spring one. So I've cut that house base and now I'm gonna start decorating it with some of the pieces from the build a house spring add-on. And here you can see those cute little shutters which I bent apart at the score lines the die creates for you so the shutters can open. And I'm gonna add that little frame around it. And I'm using fog cardstock which is nice light, light gray cardstock and then white for the shutters just for a very subtle difference between the two. To. You can use those shutters without the frame as well if that's all you you don't want the extra detail around it. So now I'm going to add some liquid glue using the glue tube around to that frame and we're going to layer that over the open window in the build a house die. Next we're going to add the two roof details and this comes from the original build a house die and we've die cut this out of some of the new textured dot cardstock so it's got these cute little embossed polka dots on it and then we've also cut the card base there I mean the house base <laughs> out of some moonstone cardstock. Next, we're gonna work on the first story window. And so I've cut the window frame and the window base, and I'm gonna take the lightest yellow marker that I have and just color that piece of white cardstock just to give it a little bit of a glow coming through the window, but I didn't want a ton since I'm creating a daytime scene. And we're gonna layer that frame over top, and then now we're gonna work on our cute little flower box there. So I die cut the flower base out of both brown and green cardstocks, and then I just trimmed the flowers off the top to create the brown part. Then we've got our green leaves coming up and then we can layer those cute little tulip tops on top of that. So it's really cute and tiny and detailed. This makes me feel like I'm working with miniatures. My grandmother did dollhouses and it reminds me of that. It's really fun. And so now we're going to layer that whole little flower box right onto the window. Now next we want to work with the door and I want it to also have a little bit of glow too. So I've cut down a piece of cardstock, just kind of freehand cut it really quick for the base of that door and then we're going to color it with that same light yellow marker and layer that behind the door. I've also added a little base part to the house there out of that same purple textured dot cardstock. So now that we have the little glow for the door as well, we're gonna layer the door on first, and then that's gonna help us know where to put our window and also this little planter we're gonna add to the house. So I'll layer the window down there, and now we're gonna start to work on this adorable tiny little planter. So it's got the little hanging piece there that we've cut out of some darker brown cardstock, and then we're gonna layer the pot onto that, and then you'll see that there's this kind of funny looking little die there that almost looks like a constellation. That's to fill in the little yellow backs to the those flowers. So you just glue that to the back of the flowers and it's going to give you the yellow centers and then we're going to layer that onto the planter and I like them out of white because they remind me of daisies and it feels like spring. Now that the house is all decorated, it's time to work on some of the other things that are going to help set the scene. So the first thing we're going to do is work with the little bird bath there. And it has this oval shaped die and that's actually the water for the bird bath. And it tucks right into this little slit that the die creates for you in the bird bath. And so we're just going to layer that right inside. And then now we're going to work on the mailbox. So the mailbox has a front piece that actually moves. It's got a little score line at the bottom. So we're going to layer that little piece there, that kind of like half circle piece on the back there. And that's going to be the back of the mailbox. And then we're going to layer the little piece on the front with the heart to decorate the front of the mailbox. And that mailbox actually opens and closes. And there's a teeny tiny little envelope that you can add to this. So I'm just going to add a little drop of glue behind the envelope and then layer that into the mailbox. But the mailbox still opens and closes because we have that nice score line there at the bottom of that kind of oval shaped flap on the front. Now we're going to add the red bird into the bird bath and then the red flag for the mailbox on there as well. 
And now we can start working on our base. And for this first card, we're going to create a reveal wheel. But before we do that, we need a doorknob. I just realized I hadn't added that. So we're gonna add that little doorknob to the door. And then we're gonna die cut a reveal wheel base here that has the reveal wheel build a house add-on. So that little opening is gonna perfectly match up with our window. I've also die cut another piece of cilantro cardstock here from that same reveal wheel die so that it has the same stitching. We're gonna trim that to an inch and an eighth high and add some tape runner and that'll be the grass for the scene and for our sky I'm using some really rainbow paper just to do something a little bit different so we've got these cute little rainbow stripes in the background next we can layer that house right over that opening that reveal wheel opening we're just going to layer them together and attach that right down onto that reveal wheel base we're gonna take those picket fence dies that's included in the spring add-on, and I'm gonna layer those onto the scene just with some tape runner there, overlapping that house, and I feel like that really helps bring the house into that green grass that we added. And then next we can add our bird bath and mailbox and that's going to kind of help fill this whole scene and how cute is this this is so much fun like i said the pieces are so teeny tiny they're great for using up little scraps of cardstock and just building these adorable scenes now for the sentiment i'm going to take out one of the new flip-flop dies this is the butterfly kisses flip-flop and i love them because they have tiny little sentiments in them that are perfect for scenes like this but i wish i would have stamped it earlier so i took a piece of scrap cardstock and just covered up my scene just in case because i didn't want to get black ink on it and then i'm going to stamp the sending smiles on there and that little tiny sentiment is the perfect sentiment right for that tiny space between the bird bath and the mailbox now it's time to start working on our reveal wheel mechanism. So I've die cut the reveal wheel wheel out of white cardstock. And here we have one of the templates that lines up with that build a house reveal wheel add on. I'm going to take out the tiny friend stamp set and those little tiny friends are perfect for the build a house. And could you imagine how cute they will be in any of the build a houses, the Christmas one, the Halloween one. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to take that cute little girl there and we're going to put her in the door as if she's kind of coming out to say hi to her friends. And then the rest of her friends are going to be upstairs, you know, playing and saying hi from the window. So I'm using that template there as a guide and I'm taking my die cut pieces, adding some tape runner to the back and layering those in there. There. And of course, for something cute and fun, I'm going to add that little cat that's in the tiny friends stamp set too. Now that the reveal wheel is ready with our cute tiny friends, I've die cut the wheel base. I've got a tiny little mini brad and then a base for my card. We're going to take the mini brad and put it up through the smaller wheel and then up through the larger wheel, opening those prongs, holding them in place. We're going to flip that over and then we're going to add some little foam squares to the back. And those are going to go on the smaller wheel base around the brad, but not touching the brad. Then we can peel up that liner paper and then line up the images with our window. So I'm going to kind of look around, make sure that little kid is just perfect in the window. Once I have that in perfect placement, we can line it up with our base and stick that down. And you'll see that now our wheel is on the base and ready to go. Now we'll remove the card front and we're gonna start adding some foam squares around that wheel, but not touching the wheel, making sure the wheel can still move. We'll peel up the liner paper and then we can attach that card front right on top. For the card base, I knew I wanted to use pattern paper, and so I took a look at the Really Rainbow collection, and I love this gradient paper. And one of the things I really love about it is that for a card, I can kind of pick one little section of it. And the blue and purple was the perfect section. I felt like it kind of picked up the color of the house a little bit, kind of felt like a sky. And so we're gonna trim that down to five and a half by four and a quarter, and then we can attach that to a card base of the same size. Then I always like to put foam squares on the back of my reveal wheel mechanisms. I feel like it's easier to get in there and spin that wheel. So we'll add some foam squares to the back and then we can peel up the liner paper and layer that onto the card base. And I feel like that gradient paper, it just makes the whole card. I think it just looks so cute. Now, so the recipient knows what they're doing. We've die cut a little arrow and that arrow is included in the reveal wheel die set. And we're just gonna layer that right onto the card base. And now you can see this card in action. It's so cute and so fun. I love the little tiny friends with this house. It's absolutely adorable and how easy the templates make it to quickly create this card. And if you've never made a reveal wheel before, we're gonna post our intro to reveal wheel video down below so you can see that in nice detail. Now, next up, Shari is going to be creating a really cute build a house spring add-on card for us without the reveal wheel. So take it away, Shari. So I am going to create a spring card using the new build a house spring add-on. So you need to use some of the pieces of the original build a house. 
along with those spring add-on pieces. I'm going to be using papers from Watercolor Wishes. I'm going to use that for my background. I'm going to use some spiffy speckles. That's going to be the tree that goes in the background. And then I'm also going to use that lighter yellow from Dandy Day for my house. So I've got the leafy tree backdrop in the portrait and I've cut that out of some craft cardstock. And then I've cut that part that is the tree that layers behind. That is out of that green spiffy speckles. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this green part of my tree onto my backdrop just by putting a little bit of liquid glue on the back and then layering this behind those branches. This is a piece of the watercolor wishes. This is the lighter aqua color and I've already cut it to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to layer that onto my card base. This is gonna be the sky. And then I can actually go ahead and put this tree onto that background as well. And I'm actually going to be covering up the brown frame that goes around it here in just a little bit. Now to move on to my house. So I've cut the body of the house from that yellow dandy day paper. And then I have the roof and the base cut from pink watercolor wishes paper. So it has a little bit of that watercolor look to it. And I decided to go with this. I liked the color of this pink better than my pink cardstock. I thought that this was a really nice pink to go with this spring look that I'm doing. And then for the door, I've cut the door out of the white wood grain cardstock, and I've also cut a door out of some fog cardstock. And I want the white wood grain to be the frame around my door. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut the door part off right along that score line. So you can see I kind of folded it up a little bit. You could do this with your scissors too. I'm just gonna use a straight edge and my craft knife and cut the door off. And that will leave me with just the frame. So now I can layer this frame over top of the fog door. And so I've got this nice white, wood grain frame around that very pale gray door. So it just gives it the slightest bit of contrast. So I'm folding it along that score line so that my door will open. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue all the way around so that I can layer that white wood grain frame over top. And these pieces are from the original build a house. Now the window is from the new add on. And I've done the same thing here and I've cut the window with the shutters out of the fog cardstock. And then you can see that little frame window from that spring add on set. I cut that out of that white wood grain cardstock. So I've got the same thing going on here where the inside is that pale, pale gray and the outside is the bright white. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my opening to my house. And then now to move on to all these tiny little elements that are part of that spring add-on. So you have this little window box with tulips. I cut it from some green watercolor wishes as well as some narwhal cardstock. And I just cut the tulips off of the narwhal and then I'm layering it over top of the green. So you have the window box and then you have the green leaves. And then the tiny little tulips I cut from some guava cardstock. So I just put a dot of glue on each of those and I'm layering those pink tulips on top. There's also this little bird bath in the set. I've cut that from some narwhal cardstock as well. And then the water I've cut from some mermaid cardstock. I also think that the water that goes inside would be really pretty out of some shimmer cardstock. So you can see how that fits right in that slot. And then I've got a little bird, a teal bird cut from peacock cardstock. I think he would also be really cute out of a bright blue color. So there's those two pieces kind of already assembled. 
And then now I'm gonna work on the mailbox. So I've got the main part of the mailbox that's cut from Narwhal, and I've also cut the piece that layers on the door of the mailbox also from Narwhal. I didn't want a different color on this particular mailbox. So this is just gonna give you the little flap at the top as well as the cutout where the heart is. I also cut this piece out of guava cardstock, so I'm just gonna pop the heart out and then pop it into that gray piece. So I do have the colorful heart, but the door and the body are the same color. I cut the piece that goes behind it out of some storm clouds so it's a little bit darker and I'm gonna layer that on the back so that when that door opens, you see that darker color. And then I can put the flag, I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue on the back and that tiny little flag I've cut from that guava cardstock. So it's gonna match the heart and the tulips. And then of course we have the little letter that's just cut out of some white cardstock. And I'm gonna glue that coming out the left side there just like it's kind of tucked in. So here's that really cute little mailbox all put together. And then the last little piece I'm gonna assemble here are those flowers in that hanging pot. So that tiny piece that cuts the center of the flowers I've cut from yellow from sunflower cardstock. The flowers are cut out of sugar plum cardstock. And then the pot that they go in I've cut from some apricot. I like this soft orangey color. I thought it went really well with these springy colors that I've got going on. And then you can see that little piece that is the hanger. And I'm just going to put two little dots of glue on the back and attach the hanger to those dots. So I've assembled all my little elements here that come in the spring add-on die set for the Build-A-House. And now I can continue to assemble my card. So I'm also using some watercolor wishes paper in the green for the grass along the bottom. This could also be the spiffy speckles, but I wanted it to be slightly darker. I've used the grassy border die to cut a straight grassy border, and then I just trimmed it to where it's very thin along the bottom. So before I start to assemble, I'm putting a frame on. This is cut from ballet slipper cardstock because I want the grass on the bottom to be in front of the frame. So I'm just gonna layer that right along the bottom of the frame, and then I will trim off pieces that overhang the sides. I just think this is a cool look where the frame kind of hides behind the grass. Now I can assemble my door and I actually cut a piece of narwhal cardstock just to layer behind it and then I'm going to put that in the center of my house centered up underneath my window. And then the little hanging pot I'm going to put on the left side of the door. I think this would be cute to have a pot on each side so it's very symmetrical. But for my card, I'm going to put the bird bath on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and put my house on here and I'm putting it in front of the grass so that you see all those details. I'm adding the fence to the left side. I'm adding the mailbox on top of the fence. Now my bird bath on the right side of the house. And then finally, I'm putting those little tulips up in the window at the top like a window box. And because of all the thickness of the cardstocks, I didn't want those little delicate tulips to kind of get bent and fall. So I have these teeny tiny little pop dots, little foam dots, and I have put them on the back of each of the tulips. A little bit of liquid glue on the frame of that window along the bottom. And then I'm just gonna tuck those into the window. I used the same little cluster of flowers for the hanging basket, cut it out of some watercolor wishes paper, and I'm just decorating the tree so we have this nice spring tree. And then finally, I realized my door didn't have a doorknob, so I used that tiny little die in the Build-A-House set that cuts a doorknob, and I cut it out of yellow, and I'm just going to add that to my front door. And then here is my finished spring house card. I just think it's adorable with those springy colors and it makes me so ready for spring.
Thank you so much for this cute card, Shari. It is absolutely adorable and I love the house in pinks and yellows. I am definitely ready for spring too. And next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And first up, Mindy got really clever and used our brick stencil onto the house to create a really cool detail. I also love how she added that little mouse at the door. It's so sweet and fun. And this card by Elise is amazing. I love that she added the house onto a landscape card and the cute little tiny friends hanging out around the house and that little heart in the speech bubble is just the sweetest thing. And then Lynette totally blew my mind and got so creative by using the spring add-on pieces with the mushroom house die. How cool and cute is this? I just adore it. So we cannot wait to see what you guys do with this new build a house add-on. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.